When it comes to pop music, the name Christina Aguilera is synonymous with sex, style, and soul. With her amazing voice, risque fashion sense, and provocative image, Christina has set herself apart from her peers and traded her teeny bopper title in for certified diva status. But music is more than just a job for Christina. Growing up in an abusive childhood, music was her sanctuary. It saved me many, many times. I'd go up into my room, I'd put on, what was I listening to at, you know, five, six years old, the sound of music. Um, you know, I would just sing to that soundtrack, sing my little heart out, out my window. Christina's grandmother encouraged her to pursue singing and exposed her to the music that would shape her future sound. My grandma used to take me into the city of Pittsburgh and we kind of used to sit through old vinyl record after record at these old vintage record stores and uh, that's kind of whenever I was introduced to all these old blues and soul singers that are incredible at a young age. I think I've really connected to the soul and emotion and the raw feeling of blues and soul music. I turn to you. When I was about six or seven years old, I started performing locally around block parties and pool parties. I was known around town as the little girl with the big voice. Christina's big voice was in fact too big for local talent shows, so she took her show on the road, competing on Star Search and making her way to Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club. In 1998, 18-year-old Christina signed to RCA and released her self-titled debut album featuring the hit single, Genie in a Bottle. Propelled by hit after hit, her first album would eventually go eight times platinum and earn her a Grammy for Best New Artist in the year 2000. The first album was um, a dream come true to be finally actually doing it. I just got signed by a label. I was ecstatic. I was excited, but so green and so new and so fresh to everything and everyone around me. To everyone's surprise, Christina went from Girl Next Door to Bad Girl on the Block with her second album, Stripped. Nothing exemplified her new attitude and look like the salacious clip for Dirty. And the video kind of reflected kind of where I was at as a woman, just feeling, you know, I've been caged into being this thing, this product to, to my label for so long that I was ready to be this bold and kind of, you know, empowered in my own sexuality, in my own strength, in my own voice as a woman. Beautiful, the album's poignant second single helped drive Strip to multi-platinum success. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Now, four years later, Christina is back with an album that draws on the blues, soul, jazz, and hip-hop influences of her youth. This one, it, it, it's, it's a little more playful, it's a little more tongue-in-cheek. It's still sassy, and it's still got attitude. Christina, who married longtime boyfriend Jordan Bratman in 2005, says her new album is a reflection of her personal happiness. I am in a very, I'm in the happiest place I've ever been. I think through finding love in my life, I'm able to be myself even more. Um, and be even more bold than I've ever been before. But if you think Christina's gone soft, think again. We haven't seen the last of her and her many personalities yet. And I think the important thing is to always be unafraid to challenge yourself and to go in a different direction and to push the envelope and to think outside of the box and to think left field. No matter what the response is, I like kind of following my heart and expressing myself as I feel I need to as a person and as a woman. Better.